Right, it's been a very turbulent week for the Welsh Rugby Union after allegations of sexism and misogyny were raised within the governing body. Our senior reporter, Garrett Hughes, is at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff. So, Garrett, if people are just tuning into this today, can you bring us up to speed with what has actually taken place? Yes, today we've, uh, we've, we've seen the new acting chief executive of the Welsh Rugby Union, Nigel Walker, because the previous chief executive, well, heads have rolled due to the, the seriousness of the allegations that were made a week ago today, sexism, misogyny that had in, become ingrained uh, within the, the organisation, causing it serious, serious issues and uh, had lost public trust and, and, and confidence. So the new acting chief executive has barely been in post 24 hours after the previous chief executive, Steve Phillips, resigned yesterday and also been hearing from the, the chair, uh, a legend of the game here in Wealthy, Ian Evans, who's, who's barely himself been in post six, seven weeks, uh, about the transparency they're going to try and have around reforming the Welsh Rugby Union. There's going to be um, a, a, an independent task force with an independent chair and a panel. They are in discussions as I talk to you now about the terms of reference and the remit of that independent task force, which will be given carte blanche to look into the governance, to look inside, speak to anyone they need to, see anything they need to uh, at uh, the Welsh Rugby Union. So a lot has happened uh, in a week with the Welsh Rugby Union, but I think they're very, very key that there have been a number of crises within sport within recent years that have engulfed sport around matters of discrimination, whether it be misogyny, sexism, racism, just pure discrimination. And they've seen how that has damaged those sports. It's damaging Welsh rugby already. They need to be transparent, they need to be quick, and they need to just not talk the talk, they actually need to do something about it as well. So as I said, Nigel Walker uh, is the new acting chief executive. He is a man who's well known within rugby circles. He played rugby for Wales in the 1990s, but he's also worked as in administration and the high performance level within a number of Olympic and Paralympic sports. He brings a great deal of experience and also a progressive attitude. Port Wales will pick the chair, the chair will pick the panel members and they will tell us what they need to look at and we're prepared to be open and transparent. It is really important if we're going to build, rebuild the credibility of this organisation that we're honest with ourselves and we're honest with the people who are coming in to look at us and to judge us. Uh, and as uncomfortable as it is, I've been through this process before, you cannot start to heal until you've been through that process. So uncomfortable there for Nigel Walker, but you said it yourself, Garen, they've got mm. to be quick. How long have they got? What's the time, time, process, time length for this process? Yeah, even though today now they're discussing with uh, Sport Wales, Vicky, the Welsh Government and another third party independent sort of panel of individuals with expertise as well. That's not been bought in by the Welsh Rugby Union, completely independent with Sport Wales. Uh, and the Welsh Government. They're going through the terms of, of reference. That's when they'll select the chair and the panel. Again, nothing to do with the Welsh Rugby Union that. The time scale will become apparent after that. So hopefully in the coming days, maybe no more than a week on that front. However, the two gentlemen I've been speaking to today, and I use the word gentlemen as well because that's one thing they've got to a, a, a address, is also the representation, the gender representation at senior leadership level within the Welsh Rugby Union a, 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 as well. They want it to be independent, they want to have an independent future. These gentlemen are saying they want to be progressive and they want to change things and they want to be quick. That's not up to them, but they'd rather the remit be narrow and focused so they can get results quickly and they can keep the public informed because they have lost the trust of the public here in Wales and they know it's quick to lose, but takes a long, long time to regain. We want this to be done quickly because it's, it's, it's a cloud that's hanging over our head. We want to, clear, we want to really start this um, growth and re-establish that trust and faith and loyalty in what we are as an organisation out there. Uh, because we're paining, we're hurting, we're bleeding at the moment. We need to stop that and start to heal again. So it's going to be, it's been a difficult week. It's going to be further difficult weeks, maybe months ahead for the Welsh Rugby Union. But We've had the likes of Nigel Walker, the new acting chief executive, and the chair, Yayan Evans, on the record saying they know they're going to have, they've been wounded, they're going to have to be wounded further with this transparent investigation by an independent task force into the governance, the culture within the Welsh Rugby Union. 
They are very, very keen that they have seen what has happened to a number of other sports, cricket, gymnastics, number of Olympic sports, dare I say football as well, that have been coming engulfed by crisis, where they've maybe acknowledged a problem, but been very, very slow to deal with it. They know time is not on their side. They've got to do things quickly to regain that public trust. Okay, Garrett, thank you very much.